Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Um, this is the fourth day of Vidmus. You know what it is. Leave a like and comment, subscribe, and all that. Blah blah blah. We are doing five logical riddles that will break your head. I love doing um, well, you know, like logic videos and riddles and stuff like that. Shout out to Brightside for these five logical riddles that'll break your head. Okay, let's get straight into this. Boom. No, really. These puzzles are simple enough to be solved okay. over your coffee break right. and tricky oh. enough to stump you over for a drink break. hours, okay. sending your mind on a wild goose chase. Okay. Today, you have the chance to stretch your brain by cracking. Also, oh, you guys can get involved with this as well. If you want to make a video on this and do so, your own reaction video to me and you know and getting them right over me because I might get them wrong, you might get them right. Let me know in the comment section as well and make a video on it if you want. So let's get straight into this. We're done on one. Roadside difficulties. Roadside difficulties. Okay. I'm gonna pause it each time as well before the answer. So. While changing a tire, okay. a motorist accidentally dropped all four wheel nuts into the sewer grate. Ooh, not he good. He tried everything to retrieve them, but to no avail. The man was okay. beginning to suspect that he would have to spend many hours by the roadside when a passing kid suddenly helped him solve the problem. Acting on the kid's okay. advice, he successfully fitted a new tire and drove to the nearest service station without accidents. What was the advice that the child had given the motorist? This is what I'm thinking. Did the kid just say, you've got a spare tire in the back? Was that it? Or... What was the advice the child had given the motorist? So he's lost the uh, wheel nuts for his tyre in the sewer, apparently. So he's only got three wheels. I know you can drive certain cars with three wheels, um, and it just, it just, I don't know what to explain it. But you could also, this could also be some advice. You could, if it's the front tyre, put all the weight in the boot. Just put loads of weighted stuff if you've got it, if you've got it on you. Um, way out the back. Um, so, you know, the front tips up a bit, but he's still touching the left. It could be that, for example, the right-hand side tyre. The right-hand side tyre could have gone off, and if you've got them left, you could still go slightly to the next, um, you know, the service station, and get some wheel nuts from there. I do believe they'd probably sell wheel nuts. It would help in the service station. But let's find out what they said. What is the answer? Let's find out the answer. They, they're my two answers. I'll give you 15 seconds to yeah, let's better turn the back with wheel nuts, or, um, you know, he put weight in the back and drove. Or he used the bike, because this kid's got a bike, he said, and then, you know, came back and forth. Let's see what the actual answer is, though. I don't know off the top of my head what the answer might be. So, what is it? You can pause right now if you Ready want to. for the answer? The kid told the man to remove one nut from each of the other three Oh, I have three wheel nuts on each tyre. That is good advice, actually. That is pretty good. Wheels. I wouldn't have got that, actually. And use them to secure the new tyre. <laughs> That's pretty good, actually. I told you. That's pretty good. Wheel number two. <laughs> A witch's present. You gotta think outside the box for that shit. A, a witch's present, Once okay. Upon a time, Prince Charming was searching far and wide for his betrothed. Okay. Summer had already ended when he came upon a shack inhabited by an old witch. Okay. The weary traveler asked if she could grant him refuge for the night. The witch obliged and showed her guest a warm welcome, offering him food, drink, and a place to sleep. Okay, that's pretty nice of a witch, morning, really. As Prince Charming was preparing to continue on his journey, she gave him a present, saying, A time will come when you find your way barred by a wide river with no bridge. The only way to cross it is to swim to the other bank. Okay. This enchanted tunic will help you. It won't let you drown. Our hero continued on his journey. A hundred days and nights had passed before he came across the river the witch had warned him about. hundred days, really? Wow, okay. <laughs> but in the end... He didn't need to put on the tunic to cross it. Can you guess why? 50 was it because there was a bridge on that actual river itself? Was it because it was shallow? Was it because it can swim without a tunic and it doesn't need the tunic really? The tun was it because the tunic was going to weigh him down? It was really heavy. That's why. Come on. The tunic was heavy. It's a witch. Again. Come on. The tunic's going to be heavy. The witch would want you to drown. The witch is that good. That witch didn't look good anyway. The witch gave him a tunic that was really heavy and weighed him down. I bet that. I bet that's why. There are my three answers. There was a bridge. You need to ask him without a tunic or the tunic was too heavy. Prince Charming visited the witch's shack in September. After that, it took there was no river. days to reach the river. Fuck's sake. Which means that by the time he it was got frozen. There, it was already midwinter. The river was iced over. He simply walked across Oh, the really? Way. It was frozen. I was thinking that. I'm not counting that, though. So we've got the two rabbit wrong. Hutch mystery. The rabbit hutch mystery. Okay. A farmer keeps rabbits in three large hutches 
that stand in a row in his backyard. Right, cool. Each of the hutches is painted a different color. Okay, red, that makes sense. And green. Even though they're all the same color Until in the picture. Recently, the number of rabbits in the green hutch was twice as large as the number of rabbits in the yellow hutch. Then, one day, the farmer took five rabbits out of the left side hutch and gave them away to the local school's pet corner. Oh, I've got such a cold, I apologize. Oh, no, no, that's me. I thought it was the left side hutch. Okay. To the red colored okay. hutch. Can you okay. guess what color the left side hutch is? I don't think that was possible to know because he must let them all out and they must all mate. I'm going to say yellow because he's put them in a red one so we can get rid of red. I'm just going to guess yellow randomly. I don't think you can know though. I don't think that's something you can actually know because it's, I'm just guessing they've all, you know, he lets them out and they've all mated and they're all like male and stuff. Unless it's blue, like for a male colour. Blue is a male colour. I think he said blue. The I'm going to go blue actually. It is yellow. Oh, it is yellow. As so it was yellow all along. At the outset, okay. The number of rabbits in the green hutch was twice as large as the number of rabbits in the yellow hutch. Ah. This means that the number of rabbits in the green hutch was an even number. After the okay. farmer removed five rabbits from the left side hutch, the number of rabbits that remained there also became an even number. Ah. This is proven by the fact that it was divisible by two. Therefore, before those five were removed, the left side hutch contained an uneven number of rabbits. Hence, the left side hutch can't be the green colored one. But based on the information we've got, it can't be the red colored one either. So he's red, blue, red, yellow, and green, not blue at all. So I got it right though, yellow. I said yellow first. So that's one. Okay, identify the culprit. Come on. Late one night, okay. a car ran over a pedestrian in a narrow by street and drove away without stopping. The policeman okay. who saw the vehicle leave the scene of the accident reported it moving at very high speed. The accident itself was witnessed by six bystanders. Okay. They provided the following conflicting accounts of what had happened. It was a blue car driven by a man. The car okay. was moving at high speed. Its headlights were turned off. Okay, the that doesn't come that doesn't license license plates, though. It wasn't going very fast. Okay, it she was saw it wrong. Its headlights were turned off. Okay, the headlights the were turned off, we know that. Have license plates. The driver was a woman. Hmm, okay. It was a grey Ford. When the car and its driver were finally apprehended, it turned out that only one of the six eyewitnesses gave a fully correct description. Each of the other five provided hmm. one true and one false piece of information. Keeping that in mind, can you determine the following? What I know this. Car's brand? I think I know this. What color was the car? Was the car going fast or slow? Did it have license plates? Was its headlights turned on? Was the driver a man or a woman? Okay, so I'm thinking the one that said it was a grey Toyota was right. It's a grey, it's Toyota. But then again, that's two different facts. Was it two different facts? I don't know. Um, I'm going to say it was a grey Toyota, because we only know the car's brand was Toyota, that's the only brand that got mentioned. We don't know if it's anything else, so it has to be a Toyota. Um, it could be red actually, or blue. The only colours that got mentioned were grey and blue, and the one that said it was grey said it was a Toyota, I do believe. So I'm going to say red actually, I'm going to say blue actually. Blue Toyota, the car was going fast, um, it did have license plates, it said lights were turned off, and it was a man. Let's go with that, let's go with that, come on, I'm thinking tricky. that. So I guess you'll okay. need at least 25 seconds to solve Ooh, 25 Take seconds. No I've way. already paused it, so you this will be the time the I would have, so yeah. Have more time to think. There you go, it said you can pause it as well. It was a blue car, yep, you were right. Um, it was going very fast, you were right about that. Um, oh no, it was going slow, it was going slow because he said it didn't have license plates. But it didn't, so that was his truth, and that was his, the other one was his lie. It wasn't going fast, it was a Toyota, it was blue. It was a woman, no, he's a man driver, and it didn't have license plates. Oh, I hope I'm right. Oh, I hope I'm right now. Are you ready? Come on. The We've got this. The solution to the riddle lies in the information provided by the policeman. The car was Blue car. going very fast. Yep, it was. If we accept this statement, Did I say that? No, I said we're going slow. Then the statement provided by one of the eyewitnesses, the car was going slowly, is false okay. by default. Okay. So it was going fast. After okay. After we've established that, eliminating all the other falsehoods won't present a problem. It was a blue Ford. It did. Oh, it was a Ford. Plans. It was driving at high speed Ooh. with its headlights turned off. The I had the light, uh, lights turned off. Woman. It was a woman. Okay. So I got that whole completely wrong about headlights. Five, okay. The That's just like a, you know, a pro and con sort of thing. Was it this? Was it that? Was it not? Was it not? Correct and right answers. Oh, I've seen this one. I've seen this one. Yes. 
A wall separates the fourth man from the other three. Okay. So, to summarize, man one can see men two and three. I've seen this before. I should man know this. Man two can see man three. Man three can see none of the others. Man four can see none of the others. It's all the relying on the first one. Hats. It's all man relying on the first one and the second one. two white hats and two black hats. The yeah. men initially don't know what color hat they are wearing. They are told to shout out the color of the hat that they are wearing as soon as they know for certain what color it is. They are okay. not allowed to turn around or move. They are not allowed to talk to each other. They are not allowed to take their hats off. Who is the first person to shout out and why? I do believe it's the second guy. You would think the first guy because you can see two of the hats. So then he's got a 50 50 chance of actually guessing. But it's only shouting out what you think. Like, the, th the first person to say, white or black? Because he knows there's a white or black in front of him. He knows he's one of them other two. Um, the second guy can only see a black hat. But he could assume that he's going in black, or black, white, black, white order. So he could shout um, white as well. Um, the fourth guy's got no fucking clue, so it won't be him. The third one's got no other clue. It's either one or two. I'm going to go with the first guy. The first guy, because he can see two of, you know, he can see half the hats already. And he sees white, black. He can assume the next one's going to be white and say black. That's my opinion. That's what I would do anyway, so yeah. Let's go with that. Man two will shout out after some time. Here's why. Oh, okay, so it's the second guy. Man four cannot see the other hats. Man one <laughs> sees a white hat and a black hat and knows that his hat can be black or yeah, white. there you go. Man two sees one black hat. But if he is also wearing a black hat, it would be there obvious to Man 1 that he is wearing a white hat. Since Man 1 did not shout out, Man 2 concluded that he himself is wearing there a white go. hat. There you go, it was one or two. I was right in a way. Have you managed to solve the Ooh, last riddle? the last riddle bonus. Now, okay, here we go. Here's our little bonus. I'm ready for this. Come on, let's go. Can you Come name on. the one thing that all the people on Earth do simultaneously? I'll give you five seconds. Here, here's what I'm thinking. There's another riddle is where um is what do you own but other people use more than you? And it's your name. I'm gonna say no, is it gonna speak or something? Or is it gonna be breathe or something like that? We don't know. Let me I don't know this. I'm gonna go straight into this. I'm not gonna try and guess what it is. The That's a hard riddle. Obvious. Getting older. Getting older. That was good. Getting older because everybody gets older. But anyway, that's the end of the video. If you guys did enjoy, remember to hit like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video, next video, whatever, or the next live stream I do, or whatever. Because you might watch this and not watch any of the videos, but if you do, I would highly appreciate it. And I would love to uh, watch any of the videos and comment in the comment section. I would reply to every comment. Apart from that, guys, enjoy the rest of your day. Enjoy the rest of your Christmas or whatever, or your 12 days of uh, Vidmas, because this is 12 days of Vidmas, day four. Apart from that, guys, peace out. See ya.